What's going on guys, it's Tony Sauce here and welcome to my end of round one playoff theme team update. So if you're unaware, I'm doing a playoff theme team with all of these playoff fantasy cards. So my first line is stacked Colorado Avalanche lines. We got Nathan McKinnon and Rantanen team of the season. And then in the middle, we have this Casey Middlestad playoff card. Now we got him at a 90 overall because they got out of the first round. He got upgraded to a 92. This card is sick and he's doing very well. 26 points or 26 goals and 34 assists plus 19 he's got silver make it snappy tape to tape shrug it off and gold puck on a string we just have puck on a string and make it snappy activated but he also has speed boost so he's going to have that 94 speed 92 excel 94 balance 98 deking this card just feels crisp he finishes great card for the second line, we have Charlie Coyle playoff fantasy upgrade card, 91 Jake DeBrusque and 85 base David Pasternak. Pretty rough base card here, but yo, I guess EA just doesn't work on Mondays. Like I know that we don't get new content on Mondays, but come on, bro. They really couldn't update this Charlie Coyle. I thought they were going to update it yesterday on Sunday and then it didn't happen at five o'clock. And I was like, all right, like it's a Sunday. I guess, you know, people don't work on Sunday, but bam, Monday mornings. I guess EA has off, boys. I guess the EA devs are out golfing. My boy has uh, the Hronik Vancouver Canucks playoff fantasy card. It's been like three days since they advanced to, the, to round two, and that card still hasn't been upgraded. Like, what are we doing here, EA? Either way, I'm super happy that they made it out of the first round. They were about to choke that 3-1 lead against Toronto, but, yo, it's Toronto, dude. Like, <laughs> They're doomed, man. Either way, this card's going to be a 92 overall. It's a very cool card. It fits coil perfectly. Gold close quarters with silver tape to tape, big tipper, and unstoppable force. We have everything activated on him. Power forward synergy and speed boost. So he has 98 balance and 89 speed. When he goes up to a 92, I'm really hoping that this speed is going to be like a 91. It's at least going to be a 90, but very dope. Because they made it out of the first round, we're going to upgrade this David Pasternak. I'm probably going to wait until tomorrow tomorrow because I'm I'm hoping that they release some new playoff cards like we're already game one into Carolina versus the Rangers and we don't have any Carolina cards for round two it's going to be game one Florida versus Panthers I mean Florida versus Boston tonight and we still don't have the Bruins card so I'll probably upgrade this line tomorrow I'll try to get one of those uh Bruins playoff cards but if not we're probably just going to get like a really at least it was a bumble notification sorry about that boys interrupting the video, but either way, this card is going to be upgraded to some sort of Pasternak. If not Pasternak, it's going to be a new playoff card. We'll see, but yeah, we're going to make upgrades to the Bruins line. For the third line, we have a Florida Panthers line. Now, boys, I have some insane upgrades for this line. I'm not going to tell you guys yet because I'm going to do that in my round two playoff theme team update video. Bro, this, is, this line is going to be insane. I got a nasty card to put on this line. So we're going to get rid of uh, either Reinhardt or Barkov. I'm not sure yet. And then this Matthew Kachuk. It is kind of a fantasy style card because if, say, Kachuk has a hat trick, he'll get like a 97 overall live moment card. And then this will upgrade uh, for free because it's team of the year. So very cool Florida Panthers line. And then... This is tough, man. So we got a Tomas Hurdle, William Carlson, and Jack Eichel Vegas Golden Knights line. Now, I actually really liked this line, but they lost to Dallas, boys. I really thought they were going to win, but very tough. So out of all four teams that I made in round one, only one got scrapped. So it's not that big of a deal, but it's still it still definitely sucks. So we have this Tomas Hurdle uh, X-Factor card. Very cool. I had make it. Uh, it's tricky activated on this card so we're gonna unlevel him up and get like a bunch of power up collectibles back and then we also have this jack eichel style icon that we're gonna uh take some power up collectibles back from as well very cool card it has silver wheels and then this william carlson we're gonna have to send his ass to the trade pile now what team am i gonna do for this line that we're replacing i'm thinking we're gonna do a oilers line because i have x factor mcdavid and then i can get like max holloway and maybe the new Leon Dreisaitl MSP because the MSP is sick and I would I always wanted to use Dreisaitl and McDavid on the same line but at the same time we're gonna wait until tomorrow when we open up that pack we're gonna do the random playoff fantasy card pack when the new ones come out so we're really hoping that we get like an Oilers player uh, I'm thinking whatever his name is Holloway or Kane and if not you know we can do Vince Trocheck and make a Rangers line that would be pretty cool we'd probably probably do like Zabanajad with Trocheck and uh, Panarin that would be a very cool line Zabanajad Trocheck Panarin but I'm not sure yet we gotta wait to see 
what we uh, what we get in that pack. I'm gonna show you guys the Hut Champs highlights, but out of all the lines, the Avalanche line definitely carried. The Bruins line was actually really good. The Florida line definitely fell mid. I feel like this Kachuk card is not as good as it was when it first came out. Like, he just gets bumped off the puck so easily, even with Gold Unstoppable Force. It came to the point where I was like, I'm just going to take off Gold Unstoppable Force and not use this line as much because it's not doing anything, dude. Like, he has 99 balance. He's six foot two, 201 pounds, power forward, team of the year card. But this McKinnon card is way better, I feel like. Like, this McKinnon card cooks, bro, and you can't bump him off the puck. So it's kind of weird there. And then this Vegas Knights line was actually very good. Now, like I said, we gotta scrap the line. I really like this Tomas Hurdle card. The art is unreal, but I'm gonna do a re-roll right now with two other X-Factor players, and we're gonna see if we get any X-Factor card that's in the playoffs. So I'm thinking Jason Robertson. I'm th I already have X-Factor McDavid, but what else could we get? Um, maybe a Quinn Hughes for v uh, Vancouver. We could get X-Factor Ajo and then make a Carolina Hurricanes line. We could get X-Factor Panera and make a Rangers line. So let's do the re-roll right now just to see what we could potentially make. And, you know, I might just get Haruku Toko and, like, two other terrible cards like Zegris and, like, Johnny Gaudreau or some shit that aren't even in the playoffs. That would suck, but let's see. So we're going to unpower up Hurdle here. I know it's pretty fucked up. We're going to get a lot of collectibles back and definitely wasted a lot, but... That's just the name of the game, boys. That's the name of the playoff theme team. So let's see how many get, we get back here. I think I just got three back. Oh, man. Six, seven. Nice. 7,500 coins. That's good. And then a base Tomas Hurdle. I think that's tradable. All right, nice. So we got uh, Hurdle fully unleveled up, but we're going to put him in the X-Factor Reroll set, and now we got to do Eichel. All right, yeah, we got five power-up collectibles back from this Style Icon card, and then we also got, like, seven from Hurdle. And we have two in the uh, collection right now, so we have, like, 13. I don't even I don't even know the math, if the math is right, but, like, I think 13 power-up collectibles. That's definitely really good. But, yeah, let's, uh, let's send this dude to the collection, and same with Eichel. Now we have a vacant fourth line for whatever line we end up choosing. All right, boys, X-Factor pack opening. And then we're going to check out some Hut Champ highlights from my first season with the team. Let's do this reroll. All right, boys, here we go. We're really hoping for... I don't even know what I'm hoping for, to be honest. Um, I guess like X-Factor Panarin. We already have McDavid. And I, I'm, I'm really leaning towards an Oilers line. But we could also do Jason Robertson with a Dallas line. A lot of it also depends on what random player I get in that fantasy pack. But let's see. Let's open it up. All right, boys. Number one, we are getting Johnny Gaudreau. What did I say? Number two, Jack Eichel. Wow. Oh my God. Imagine we were doing a Vegas Knights line, bro. What a sick card. One of the coolest cards in the game, I think. The art is just unreal on that card. And number three, we are getting a... Braden Point. I love Braden Point. But yeah, we got nothing that we can actually use for a playoff line. So that's pretty tough. But, you know, it is what it is. Uh, gold Silver Wheels. Silver Relentless. Silver No Content. This is a fucking dope card. Oh my god. I did not realize how sick this card was. Wow. Oh my god. Gold Unstoppable Forest. Relentless. Wheels. No Contest. Puck on a String in Close Quarters. Wow. Like, dude, one AP for Relentless, two AP for No Contest, three for Puck on a String. Like, bro, oh my god, this card is so sick. But out of all of these cards, we're probably just going to take Braden Point because it's my favorite out of all of them. All right, boys, now let's take a look at some of the Hut Champ footage from my first season with the playoff theme team. Let's dive into it. Like my TV in a bottle. This can get me rich let's go, Lantanen. In He's insane. So good. So good. Let's go, Coil! My guy did the step up, man. My guy, my guy did the step up. I'll show you guys. I'll show you again. 
he stops right there. Instead of pivoting to back skate, he stops. Because he wants to intercept that pass. But he's nowhere close to intercepting that pass, bro. Can't get these passes through, yo. Penalty. Alright, it's only one period, boys. We can get this, dude. We can get this. Grind out three and not let him get any. Thus far, let's see if anything changes here with the start of the second. Alright, Pounder, how would you assess this game? Oh my god, it's a that's a fucking puck battle, huh? There we go. Wow, McKinnon, or er, Rantanen. Able to make the saves. That gives his team confidence, and they've been consistent as well, and they've done the job on the other side. Bro, come on! Come on! Thank you. Oh my god, he's injured. Wow. So I, they blow the whistle. Oh my god. Oh my. Dude. How am I losing these pucks and these puck battles, bro? What kind of pass is that, bro? What kind of... Bro, what the fuck kind of... Oh my... Bro... That's one I got to show in the replay, uh, in the hut breakdown, because wow, what a game. Almost came back down four goals going into the third. And then, uh, you, guys, you guys see the bullshit, like. Nice, let's go, let's go. Good spin move. Throw it on net. Good things happen. Let's fucking go, fourth line. Thank you. Look at that. Hurdle to Mantha, man. Let's go. McKinnon hits that shot every time, yo. Let's go. Good W. Good W. 28 seconds. We have some time here. And they win the face off and set up to go on the attack. Back at the point, he set it up. Wow, Rantanen. One timer. Go, Coil. Wow, close quarters. Oh my god. Wow, Coil. Oh my god. Thank you. Let's go, Reinhardt. And I think that's it, boys. 12 wins with the team. 85 overall, Pasta. 87 overall, Reinhardt with 85 speed and excel. And we pulled off the 12 win Hut Champ season. That's fire, man. That's going to be an ultimate choice pack and a mega player pack. Now let's take a look at the stats and how everyone did in Hut Champs. All these players, all these games were pretty much Hut Champ games. A few of them were rivals, but let's see who popped off for season one. All right, so we'll start with McKinnon. He played a few more games before everybody else, but we got 14 goals and 12 assists here with McKinnon. He definitely popped off. Casey Middlestad, let's see. These were like all new games. Yeah, eight goals, 10 assists, 11 goals, 11 assists. So 22 points for Ranton in there. Second line, all right, let's take a look here. Coyle, Eight goals, eight assists on the second line, 16 points. David Pasternak, five goals, two assists. Not bad for an 85 overall here. He had a few clutch goals. Jake DeBrusque, 91 overall. A bit underwhelming. He feels really good, but only one goal. One goal, six assists. Now, Kachuk, he, already, he was already playing some games before everybody else, so we can't really count him, but uh, same with Barkov. Let's take a look at Reinhardt, though. I feel like he has more points than DeBrusque. Two goals, eight assists from Reinhardt on the third line. Playing better than Jake DeBrusque here. Pretty interesting. Wow. 87 Reinhardt. And then we got the fourth line. Mind you, they don't get that much time, but still one goal, seven assists from Hurdle. Really good for a fourth liner. Two goals, one assist from Eichel. Mantha, let's see. Three goals, two assists. We love to see that. They are minus though, but 
it's all good. But yeah, really good season from the playoff theme team. All right, guys, that's the end of the video. I really hope you enjoyed the playoff theme team round one breakdown. It's a shame that we lost that Vegas Golden Knights line, but I have a fire line to replace it. You guys are going to love it. So stay tuned for the episode that's coming out tomorrow. It's going to go over all the new major upgrades for the team. So we're upgrading the Florida Panthers line as well as the Bruins line. So stay tuned for that. Once again, it's Tony Sauce. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Also follow me on Twitch. Go do that shit fist. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.